guys, today, uh, sorry I didn't upload, I was doing, I was doing streams and playing Minecraft and stuff, but, yeah, I know, really good excuse for not uploading, but, um, yeah, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to make, like, a Roblox ad slash image using Blender 1.8, um, yeah, so this is pretty easy when you get the hang of it, you just gotta have, uh, you don't have to have a lot of knowledge about Blender or anything, um, Roblox Studio. You just have to know the basic steps on how to add in parts and uh, move uh, things. So um, uh, today, uh, you're gonna wanna if you wanna have a character or something in it, then um, I would recommend getting a plugin called Load Character. Now, mine will be different than the one that you're going to get, probably. I uh, I used to use this one, but I just use this one now. Uh, there's no difference. They're literally both the same. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I will use this one today. Just, yeah, here it is. So, you're going to want to have the Spawn at Origin on, because then it will be easier to use in Blender. Uh, so, now you want to change the name to whatever thing you're going to want to do, whatever player. So this is me. Um, I'm going to do R6. The reason I'm doing R6, you can do R15. R15 is just if you want to take a lot more time to do things, because you're going to have to change all the specific um, joints and stuff on it, because R15, uh, I will show you the difference. You spawn R15. Then, no, that's already pro, but I guess we can use him. Uh, so, then, you see a lot more joints here, uh, and body parts, than you do on here. So, um, basically, if you just want a lot more detailed, uh, images, uh, then I guess you can do that. So, now what you're gonna want to do is put it in the pose that you want. Uh, I'm just gonna be doing a simple T-pose, uh, I guess. And, yeah, just put arms out like that. Uh, I know, it, it looks hurried when you're doing it. Yes, it is. I'm going to speed this part up. Yeah, okay, so, um, here's my character. Uh, it's pretty cool, I guess. Just a simple T pose. The reason that the last part of the speed up, or maybe I just cut it out, I don't know. I'll decide that during editing, but, um, yeah. So, this is it. Uh, what you're gonna want to do, I won't show the file saving and everything, because that's just a private information. But, basically, what you're gonna do, uh, right-click on it, uh, or all the parts that you want to add. If you, if you right-click on them individually, then they're all saved as different models, and then you can manipulate them better. But if you want to do it just very easy and stuff, then select all of your models that you want to have in it, and then right-click on it, and you get an export. So, right-click, export selection. Um, you probably can't see the file thing, but it should appear up here. And then look under this PC. I I don't know what it looks like if you're on Mac, but um, yeah, just go to maybe desktop, because that's the easiest one to access. And it should already go to... OBJ, which is what you're going to want, and just name it whatever, uh, not actually whatever, the file name doesn't matter, so, yeah, um, yeah, so, um, save, and then, um, I'm going to want to open up Blender, and, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get my recording software ready for Blender later. Okay, so, now I'm in Blender, uh, you can delete the cube and the uh, I mean, you don't have to delete the light, but that's just my preference. So, now what you're going to want to do is click on File, and then uh, Import, uh, and go to Wavefront OBJ, click on it. And you're going to want to find it in this little area. Uh, so, yeah, you can't, you guys can't see this, because it's my files. But, uh, it should show up for the files, and then 
go into the place that you saved it, which for me it's in uh, desktop. You click on uh, edit, double click it, and then it should appear uh, right here. So, as you, you probably already noticed, there is no color or anything to it. I just noticed it's orange at the beginning, but that's fine. Um, so the reason that there's no color is because we're not in the texture area. When you uh, take the image of it, then it will have color and all that. But, so, yeah. So here we have it. You're going to want to right-click on this area, join areas, and then put your cursor over here and click on it. And then, here we go. You have it right here. So now you see this camera right here. Um, let's go back to the layout because it's easier to do it this way. So we have our camera, and we're going to want to move it to the camera angle. So we can click on this to look at the camera angle. And, uh, yeah, so you're going to want to use the move and rotate tool over here to move it to the position that you want it. So I will move it here. There we go. And then uh, let's see how this looks. That is bad. Like this. It's, you got to take a while to get the perfect camera angle, because if you want to look, make it look nice, then you're going to want to have a little bit further. Up. There we go. This looks about good enough. Figure. And if you want to change the dimensions and stuff of it, so um, if you're doing a Roblox ad, then I prefer to change it to whatever dimension that you want um, on your resolution. And so you're going to, right now, if we look at the render... Um, I'll make it so you can see my render. Um, hold on. Yeah, okay, there we go. Now you can see it. Um, so this is my render. Um, it, you could probably notice that it's not very lit up. And that's what we got to fix. And you can make the background transparent, and I'll show you how to make that after you add the lighting. Because, uh, yeah. So, I personally, I like the sun lighting. It just depends on your preference. Uh, personally, I use sun because it's just easy. Uh, you just take this little dot right here and move it to the spot that you want to have the lighting coming at. So, yeah. And then you go. You can go over to the lighting area, make the brightness bigger. I will use 2.5 because that is really good for me. And then I like a little tint of blue in it to make it look nicer. So yeah, it won't capture the sun or anything. It will just capture the render. Um, so yeah, there we go. It just it took a second to load. There we go. So, you can change the lighting and everything. It kind of looks like I'm looking at a TV right now. But, uh, yeah. So, this is what it looks like. And if you want to make it transparent, you can put whatever you want in the background or anything. Uh, you know. So, this looks pretty nice, you know. It's a lot better than making a screenshot in Roblox Studio. The quality is a lot higher. And it doesn't look disgusting. Um, I shouldn't say that, but, you know, sometimes things in Studio can take screenshots. But, uh. This doesn't look nice. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. And you can, like, pan around and stuff, see everything. Zoom. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, there's obviously going to be a few pixels if you get closer to it, but there are a few settings on how to change the, the quality and all that. Um, but from a distance, it looks fine. Uh, it's not like anyone's going to be zooming in up on my stuff. Um, so, yeah, if you want to save it, click on Image, Save As, and then uh, put it in your files, whatever you want. So, now I'm just going to change the color real quick. Not that close. Um, so, I'm going to show you how to make it transparent now. You want to go to the little camera icon, sort of. You go to Film, Transparent, check that off. And, uh, and now you can render it again. 
F12. F12 is the hotkey for rendering, by the way. If you didn't know that. A lot of people don't know that. Um, if you're new to uh, Blender. Yeah, so, um, now it has to transfer a background. It won't look like this. You can take it into Photoshop and put it on, like, whatever you want. Um, personally, I kind of want to add some laser eyes or something on here. Just make it look funny, you know? Possibly. But, yeah, so this is kind of what it looks like. Uh, you can add background stuff, like I said earlier. Just, uh, export it from Roblox Studio. Uh, yeah, I may add some grass in the background or something. Uh, let me check the render again to see. Yeah, I could use some grass or trees or something back there. Um, yeah, uh, I will get back to you. Um, if you want to see my channel art, make sure to look on my channel. I'm going to add more stuff to this, uh, just for now. I'm just not, because, uh, that would make this video way too long. It's probably already, like, ten minutes or something, because I cut out some parts, you know. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to hit like if you liked it, and hit dislike if you didn't. Uh, if you hit dislike, then make sure to tell me in the comments what, uh, I did wrong, or what some tips that you could give me, because, uh, I'm not the best at Blender sort of new to it, but I just kind of learned it with myself. Yeah. So, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. Bye.